I am going to be starting my second round of microgreens. Junior, are you going to help? Junior, are you going to help me? Are you going to help me? I'm back home in the cold, drinking a cup of coffee to try to warm myself up. It's Monday, new week, and I am going to be starting my second round of microgreens. As you can see, I grew some lovely wheatgrass very unintentionally. I simply planted triticale wheat, and for some reason in my mind, I didn't realize that they would be that the, the wheat would turn into wheatgrass, but it's kind of a fun surprise. So I wanna know what I should do with this wheatgrass. I was thinking of maybe juicing it with some carrots that we had from the fall garden, but let me know what you think. I would love to hear your ideas. So today I'm going to get started with another plot of microgreens. So I'm just picking the seeds that I wanna use. Right in here I have um, my gardener seeds. So I actually bought a $10 sprouting and microgreen kit from MI Gardener. So in the $10 sprouting and microgreen kit, I have mung bean, beet, broccoli, cabbage, chia, triticale, uh, dinosaur kale, mizuna mustard, sugar snap pea, and cherry bell radish. So I've already used the mung bean, the radish, and the triticale. And today I wanted to use kale as well as possibly uh, broccoli and cabbage to go in the brassica family. So I just gotta find those seeds in this bag. I found the broccoli. Got the kale. Now I found the cabbage. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray down this soil. So now I'm going to go ahead and plant my seeds in this flat in sections of three. It looks like there are 300 kale seeds, 300 cabbage seeds, and 300 broccoli seeds which is a good number to be able to separate this flat into three sections and start the microgreens that way. Microgreens are planted really densely, so you wanna be really generous with how you spread out the seeds, but packing as many seeds in as possible. I actually found I didn't need all of the seeds, so I'm going to go ahead and put the remainder back in the packet. Next up is cabbage. Now I know they both said they had 300 seeds in them, but the cabbage had far less, maybe only 100 seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and use the difference from what was left over from the kale and spread that in that section. Now I'm using the broccoli seeds to fill in the rest of the flat. All the seeds are now in the flat, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this little piece of paper to flatten down the seeds and try to give it really nice contact with the soil. If you're not looking to cover the seeds with the soil, you're just looking to make sure they have nice contact with the soil and they're not just barely touching it. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the soil and the seeds one more time to make sure they have a lot of moisture, which is necessary for germination. And this next step might be a little surprising. It definitely was surprising for me, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use one of these same flats as a blackout dome by turning it upside down and over the sprouts. What this blackout dome does is it supports germination without having to add another small layer of soil on top of the seeds. So it's going to allow the seeds to germinate well and then in a couple days I'll check it and if the seeds are germinated then I'll go ahead and remove the blackout dome. 
So we're all done in here and I'll show you what it looks like a few days later once the seeds are germinated. As you can see in this flap right here, these guys are no longer covered with a blackout dome and are getting some supplemental light from these little grow lights right here, which I don't love, but they are working pretty well for a small little area like this. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video, especially if you made it to the end. I'm so grateful for your participation in our channel, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I can't wait to share our next video with you guys. Have a wonderful day.